So uh, the question says that we have to draw a scatter plot of the given data. So what we're gonna do is the first coordinate x uh, is an ordered pair as we can see. Uh, so it will be on the horizontal axis. While the second coordinate that is y that is here in the second part, uh, we'll take y on the vertical axis that is over here. So the we can see as the maximum value of x is eight and the minimum is one. So minimum is zero. So we will uh, keep it keep the x axis from minus one to nine. So the y axis we will keep it from a minus one to eleven as the values uh, highest value reaches from zero to ten. So let's draw the scatter plot. The first scatter plot is one and two. So it will come. Here. the second scatter plot says 7 and 9.5 that lies over here as 9.5 intersects over here along with 7 so the next thing uh, we're gonna do is 4 into 7 so 4 into 7 it comes here then it says 2 into 4.2 so it will come around here then it says 6 into 8.5 that comes somewhere around here then the x is 3 and the y is 5.8 so it will come somewhere around here then it says 5 on x axis and 8 on y axis so it will come here exactly and then it says 8 on x axis and 10 on y axis that will come straight over here and then the last letter part is 0 and 0 that lies over here so the question also asks that we have to tell if the association is linear or non-linear as we can say as the value of y increases the value of x also increases so the association is of course uh, linear association and there is a slight curvature present in the scatter plot so we consider it as non-linear association why because you see here it's a slight curvature otherwise it could have been a linear association non-linear association so here is our perfect scatter plot